previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. Why didn't you say so before? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that, that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the redstone heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Okay, guys, not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. You got it? Yeah, we've got your back, Jesse. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I... I guess you could say that. What are you hiding from us now, Harper? Nothing. Nothing. Well, almost nothing. Just the others might not be 100% happy to see me. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Yikes. If you're the nicest old builder, these other ones must be really terrible. Hey, too mean. I'm trying to help here, all right? Well, you're going to give us the Atlas, and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not gonna let us down, right? I'm gonna do my best, but I warn you now that there could be complications. What kind of complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. I can see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs>
seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in the world did Harper dump us into? Like some sort of crazy game. Really? You think this is a game? Oh, no. Jesse's right. Spleef. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be my dick! Teammates. Oops, did face me drop something? against the rules, right? Yeah. I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, bro. You are an incredibly horrible individual. Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on, so are you all crazy? Mind-controlled? What? Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. My friends are dead. You killed them. Wait, wait, wait. A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on, jeez, how petty are you? Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, you can't be serious! Okay, just tell me straight, what are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <laughs> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! No, oh, why bother? We're from another world. Eh? You and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ. Why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on pet. 
That'd be pretty cute, right? We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now. Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking. Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope, not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable for fun. This is not against the rule. What about this? Huh? <gasps> I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Oh, I've got you interested now, don't I? You've certainly got my attention, yeah. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Uh, without the Atlas? But we need that to get home. So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. That's your idea of an offer? Seriously? That's terrible. Terrible? I'll tell you what's terrible. Hadrian. Well, I do admit the kid is not afraid of playing a little hardball. Even I think that's admirable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I... Need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. It really does take a big person to admit when they've met their match, right, Hadrian? Yeah, that's right, Slugger. I'll play these games. Bring it on. Well, I... Guess we have a deal, then. Gravel. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, event. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, Gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh. He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Wait, but this was your plan. You said you had it all worked out. Yeah, about that. I didn't think you'd willingly come here. I might have acted in haste before, uh, I could work out all the details. Making it up as you go, huh? Bold. Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. They're all in the games. Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. 
Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Hold on a moment. We still haven't found Petra or Lucas. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Ah, seems like Hadrian's trying to make sure we all know who's boss. You always did catch on quick. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll see if any of these other competitors have any promising leads. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't block cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face Meat cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When Face Meat has time, that is. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on Face Meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at Face Meat. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it. Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat'll think about getting your friends out. <laughs> Unless you got food, I don't want to talk to you. Spleef, you were like amazing. I am now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your probs upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty upset. Totally get it, bra. I will never do that to one of your friends again because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like, Tim status. Tim who? Tim, like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. You like one, okay? Like you could, people could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff, compare you to Tim. Good, they should pay attention. Whoa, um, I don't know if Tim was that full of himself. Seems a little hubristic, don't you think? <laughs> Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean, seriously, I mean anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Well, actually, do you have any extra food? Well, um, if I had some meat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, quick before anybody sees us. Should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, bra. It'll grow back. Just uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One, planting as I go. And that 
That's another. Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Wow, hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. Everybody loves Tim around here. Uh, yeah, and justifiably so. He literally saved his entire team, and in style. His armor didn't even get dirty. He's a real Tim-spiration. Yeah, it's true. He could do the Tim possible. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Then I guess we're even. Oh, no way we're even. You still have a good teammate left. And you still have all your fancy gear. I'm stuck with two blockheads now. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. You haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Looks like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fished it out some respawn's inventory after he... It's got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute. You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess. You want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here. And hey, don't get too steam. Maybe we can make a deal? And slam the immovable. Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. Mm. Mm. 
Excuse me. Shh. Wow, rude. before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. <laughs> it's so nice when new contestants are in the village. Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow or will have? Guess I should ask around. Aha, uh -huh, there's our nether portal. Um, hello? Face me, got some bread for you. Bread, huh? Hmm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Jesse. Hello. Hey, Ivor. There's been something I've been wanting to say about how you saved me back there in that day. I... I really appreciate it, Jesse. I... Ugh! I couldn't have done it without you is what I'm trying to say. Of course I saved you, Ivor. We're friends. Well, yes. And I suppose that is very lucky for you, isn't it? I'm glad you're in this with me, Ivor. Me too, friend. Here! Oh! Oh, response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you? You too, Lucas. Jesse! I really hope you've got our stuff because I'm not liking being armorless here. So, I guess that's a no on my journal, too. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. <sighs> Give it to me straight. What did Harper get us into here? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Don't worry. We're just in this tournament where if we win, we get the Atlas and our ticket home. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Of course, if we lose, we, um, spend an eternity mining for quartz through that portal. Nope, that is not a thing I want. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just... <sighs> stare at you while you mine. Lucas, I'm sorry. We can't just leave. We made a deal. We have two more games to compete in. Well, hopefully we can get that over with quick. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Tim seems fantastic. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper... Until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point, but you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, 
plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I just hope this next event isn't too deadly. Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleef, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. Certainly fond of their own voices, those three. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? Yes, it certainly is curious. He must have been quite the competitor. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? Oh, great, a run for my life. Just what I was hoping for. Bad knees, Beardo. Boom, surprise locker room visit. Ah! How we doing, everybody? It's Adrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? Whatever you're throwing at us can't be any worse than the other stuff we've already survived. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes, perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. M wanting to work together. Hmm. I'm not surprised. We are very charming. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or you can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay, too. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet at Gladiator Junction. I'm glad she'll be on our side. At whatever a gladiator junction is. I don't know about this, Jesse. Cardio isn't really my thing. If I were Hadrian, I'd be up to some suspicious activity. Don't worry, we're in this together. You and me. That's good to hear, Jesse. 
We can do this! I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together and I'm glad that M like totally suggested that we can do this uh yeah I knew that you were cool from the moment we met competitors on your mark get set go did it. I love a good lava base build as much as the next guy. But this is a little treacherous for even my tastes. What did we get ourselves into? And you're just getting started. Huh? Out of the way, chumps. Sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? My body! Well, that answers that question. <laughs> Jesse, observe! Jesse, what's up? You ready for the fun part? I sure hope so. Come on, then. <laughs> Glad she's on our side, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh, yeah, Slab? Because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> By squishing. Potion of leaping. Oh, crud. Gotcha. No. 
Looks like you're all alone yep, now. That's mad. Tired of you, Slab. I was just thinking the same thing about you. this thing. I don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. You lied to me. You tricked me into trusting you. All the stuff you said about being friends was a lie. I know. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No! Please! <sighs> you probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. Whatever, you're a liar. Why should I waste my time talking to you? Ugh, fine. That respawning was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Ah! Ivor, what are you wearing? <gasps> it's what I've been wearing under my adventuring clothes. It breathes wonderfully. Uh huh. Well, look who it is. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on, I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Before I go anywhere, I want more information. And I wanted to kill you, but they wouldn't let me. Guess that means we don't always get what we want. Come on. No. Just Jesse. Oh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Just try and be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. 
Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec. I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay, good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse, come on! Now we're going to be late and I'm going to get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Quit whining, Slab. It's super unbecoming. Oh, I am going to enjoy squishing you at some point. So this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> mm, just do that a whole bunch. This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. But why am I standing around? I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. Now oh, that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. Psst, hey, Bat. Hey, Batsy. Oops. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Wow, an all quartz wall. Impressive. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking, or you just hope to find one along the way? 
because I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa, wow, that's just kind of rude, champ. <laughs> Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. Hmm. Of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. Not gonna lie, guys, it's bad. We're in a world where everyone is forced to compete in these crazy games and will be prisoners forever if I don't win. Uh, that is bad. I'm so sorry you guys got roped into this. Yeah, that's not the best. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just, wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I save that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Ruben. So... <sighs> I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Adrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright, you know that? What? I told you, bro, but my name is Ruben, but the Ruben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though seriously, dude, big fan. Nothing yet. So you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. I don't believe it. You're just a dirty cheater. You know that I'm going to win, so you're just trying to stack the deck however you can. You wound me, Jesse. Your barbed words. Ouch. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. Play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you, and you won't win anyway. Slab, get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. Uh, uh. Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Have you seen what Ivor is wearing? I said, <laughs> shut up! Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh, Guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. I don't trust Hadrian. No way was I going to take any shady deal from him. You're right. You're probably right. 
Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. Well, he seems nice. He's the least interested in torturing people at any rate. Huh. A good observation. He always was the most level-headed of those three. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the atlas, but I'm going to need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good. There's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. The old builders make you all compete in the games. Event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do, more than anything, but nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did. That's the only thing keeping me going in here. That's right. Tim did beat the games and so can we. <laughs> yeah, sure. Except nobody's been able to do it since Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying. We all have. Someday, someone else is going to win, and they're going to say that person was the first winner since Tim. Don't you want that person to be you? I mean, yeah, of course. But what chance do we stand against those gladiators? The stories didn't exactly say what Tim did to beat them. Yeah. I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but those gladiators are, like, super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but, okay, look, for real, I don't think I could do that. Like, max level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, I mean totally OP. I'm not sure how Tim pulled off defeating the gladiators. Their fists are huge, their weapons are super scary. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But you know what I am sure of? If we combine all our fists and stuff, we're gonna be even tougher than the gladiators, even tougher than Tim! Oh, I get it now. If we work together as a team, Those old builders think they're the greatest thing since Chiseled Court, but we will show them that that is not true. Right now, Hadrian's up in that tower, plotting how he's gonna beat us all. But what he doesn't know is that his plans are doomed from the start. Because they are going down. Yeah! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, you did hear it, right? Loud and clear. 
It just might not have been enough. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian. And not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls. The walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. After putting up with your breath this whole walk? Please. This walls thing doesn't scare me at all. <laughs> Still got your sense of humor, huh? Cute. Bevia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Oh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat oh, Gladiator! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking! Too dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevian? What do you mean, Hadrian? I mean, some choices take you places. Others get you nothing. Nope, but just dirt. dirt. And crap. Come on. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? Nah. Oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do, actually. Rhetorical question. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. That's worse than dirt. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down. Uh -oh. This should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving before they go in for the kill. Jesse! Yo! Jess! Ha ha! Hang on now. We em got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Now hang on, Em. You don't have to do this. I already made up my mind. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Thought I'd try giving that friends thing a shot. 
It appears Emily has opted to not. Thank you. You made the right decision. Well, you could say you really inspired me. Oh, well, that could, but don't. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Aren't you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! But what they should be doing... Hey, Adrian, shut your cake hole. Go! Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh... I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon. Right? You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemate finds that idea... weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab, I'm so proud of... Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate, too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm. Even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this together! It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the <laughs> Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Levia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you this place until you eliminate each other not happening oh would you cut it out with the cheating and bending the rules already i heard mevia the game ends when someone steps on the winner's platform boom jesse's got a point this isn't up to you we control the games we decide their outcome mevia shut up otto this runt needs to pay for ruining our fun! Seems like you're losing your temper there, Mevia. What's the matter? Not having fun anymore? Why, you little... Now, Mevia, Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay... Otto! It's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Now, because uh, I will trap you here forever. You heard, Otto. The Atlas is mine. Yeah, we're going to talk to Otto about that later. But trust me, the Atlas will never be yours. <laughs> Useless! Well, well. Just M, come back! Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit your quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe! No, oh, what the Don't forget my axe, Hadrian! <laughs> Gotta 
admit, kid, you've shown you got skills. But you're still no match. see about that. I got this, Hadrian. Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right. This has gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? Let me catch you. Forgive me? <laughs> <sighs> this game is no! And that's our game, sports fans. The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. <laughs> I, I lost. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you guys. I know you said you were done helping me, but I hope you can give me another chance. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. I actually wouldn't mind a little help. Looks like an understatement to me. We got you, buddy. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, suspenders. Over here. Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, yeah, nice choice. Bad. Sweet. Payback time. Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! You don't know my friends, Hadrian. Those friends of yours will just hold you back in the end, slugger. Oh, I'm going to enjoy crushing you. Yeah. <laughs> is going to help? You're deluded! Come on! You never could have won on your own. Wish you had friends like mine yet? Shut up! Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse, remember Spleef! Got it. You and 
and your stupid deals! There's no time for that now, Mevia. We have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Guys! How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best. And you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Facemeat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on. Hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? That's when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. You promise they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh, yes. I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends. Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and... Well, you're pretty awesome. Ah, oh, Jesse! That's wonderful! Ugh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello! What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper! Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm going to head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. 
Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Nice. There it is. Home. I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. time all those portals we're home yeah and i couldn't have done it without you guys you're the best team anyone could ever ask for oh that's lovely ah oh, you big sap i'm just so glad we're all back together that atlas is so cool i'm glad otto let you keep it fabulous yes and that's not all we got seriously what else did you get yeah show him jesse Enchanted flint and steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The mask of... Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man. That's even creepier looking than I imagined. Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Pama was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. <clears throat> Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, flint and steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? Eh, he'll be back eventually. After everything we've been through, I think I finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home.
Unfortunate and unexpected twist. It appears we are in the land of chickens that are indeed the size of zombies. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like we're just gonna have to wing it. Wings. Chicken wings, you know. You're fired, Mavia. You're fired. 